Her fingers are worn. Her nails are broken. If she was a sorceress, why would she do this? Why would she kneel on a cold stone floor morning after morning when she could make these things happen with a snap of her fingers? Like an idle king. You have no right. You have a right to cast a judgment on that. I have a responsibility to take care of this kingdom. I take no pleasure in this. But you're sentencing the wrong person. She's right, Father. You hear the word magic, you no longer listen. You saw it for yourself. She used enchantment. Yes, maybe. But to save her dying father, that does make her guilty of creating a plague. One's the act of, of kindness, of love, the other of evil. I don't believe evil's in this girl's heart. I have witnessed what witchcraft can do. I have suffered at its hand. I cannot take that chance. If there is the slightest doubt about this girl, she must die or the whole kingdom may perish. I understand that. One day you may become king. Then you will understand. Such decisions must be made. There are dark forces that threaten this kingdom. I know. Witchcraft is an evil father. So is injustice. Yes, I am yet to be king and I don't know what kind of king I will be, but I do have a sense of the kind of Camelot I would wish to live in. It would be where the punishment fits the crime. I fear you're right. She's played with fire, and sadly she must die by fire. <laughs>